Also keeps your mouth salivated, all that cooling out. Really dries out the mouth, whether you're hydrating or whether you're hitting the monster. Throw a stick of gum in there as well. Here we go, folks, into map one. Karachi hardpoint on us, rocker's record, not so ideal. Boston, a little bit better. But all those stats get a little bit muddy as we find team changes here. Will we see the new looks out of Rocker or is it Boston who have come to play today? Let's get it. We got a game, ladies and gentlemen. I'm so excited and I, well, yeah, probably not gonna hide it. It is my job. Straight through the middle lane, Priest is gonna be looking over Snoopy, trying to get him over there towards the time. Pretty distant spread here for Rocker if you got accuracy playing outside the bridge, but it is just a massive amount of kills being chained. Priest up inside the time, somehow able to win the close range gunfight. As the time goes white, you gotta pay attention to the spawns. Rocker still got the left side, but the kill feed dominated by the green. Boston can be clean potentially for the final 25 seconds. It's a long time. Uh, that's gonna give him a, a decent chunk going in towards Diner. Everyone there from Rocker. Setting up for the next hard point. Everyone except for Gunless is now back in off spawn. Still trying to keep a hold of that back alley side of things. Here's the approach now from Boston. And Pentagram has done a lot of work here. Oh, good golly. Gets both. Priest is at El Pal. New hard points up and Rocker find themselves a half strength. Yeah, keep in mind for Rocker, this was a very early rotation. They chalked up 25 seconds just to get here, and then Pentagram ends up making the perfect play. Watches the cross, calls out to his teammates, hey, there's going to be one playing over by Ticket, and Priest, as patient, always sits there and waits for him. So you get the perfect teamwork, perfect chemistry, and perfect breakdown of P2, and that is as good of a start as you could possibly ask for for Boston as they continue to collect this time. Yeah, that was a fantastic, fantastic break. Rocker thought they made the heads up play by giving up a bit of time at P1 to get themselves cozy for the next one. Sandy, in at the hard point. Snoopy guns him down, no problem. Doesn't look left, right. Doesn't mind his P's and Q's and gets absolutely put to bed for it. New hard point will be up in a moment. And already, Rocker looking towards it. You've got a couple of members of Boston on this 2-2 split. So when that cafe opens up for business, we say bye-bye diner, hello cafe. Linz has got his work cut out for him. Can he make it towards the point unscathed? Well, maybe not completely. Those game does get traded, but still an opportunity to put on the pressure. But Boston do keep it secure. You had Beans, by the way, early rotated this hill with like 30 seconds left on the clock. And the first gunfight he took was him getting fried by Linz. But at least he got his team those spawns as Boston continued just to run the score up. Three hills back to back. They are looking clean. Rocker, they are desperate for this break. Yeah, looking to get in there. Pulls the back. Here goes Linz. Nice bit of check. Whoa, the second would have been ideal. Accuracy, though, is there for the trades. It's now 1v1 on the point. Lamar wins it, gets himself streaks as well. So nice work out of accuracy. 20 plus seconds to be had here as well, Chance. Good work out of Rocker. Now can they set up and not let this get out of hand? Accuracy on one hit point. That's not going to be an easy thing to survive, but he somehow does. The boys of Rocker have survived for now. Yeah, what a big moment for accuracy, too. You and Sandy still hunting for his first kill in this game. So if not for the spree from Lamar, this could be a very different situation. But if you turn your head to the rotation, you have Boston again ahead of the game. They've been first at every single hill so far on Karachi. And maybe not an easy hill to actually soak up the time. But so far, Priesta has still been doing a fantastic job as Sandy is still searching for his first kill. He might be able to get it here. The dreaded street hard point. In a moment, it'll be the monkey wrench. One hey. and ten. There it is from Standy. 30 seconds to go here on this point. And Rocker, they're in it and they're finding it. Not an easy thing to do. It's a sweet cove there from Standy. Gets himself kill number two. It's kill number three. Standy, once you pop, he just won't stop. Yeah, I suppose there's two ways to look at it. Sandy starting 0-10 is not good, but he started 0-10, and, and this is about to be, what, a 10-point game or a tied-up game going into new and Linz? Yeah, well, he wants to run the score up. Sandy, an opportunity, has multiple players to deal with, and, well, doesn't win the first one anyway, but... I mean, all things considered for a nearly tied up game for Rocker, who have lost every single rotation until this one. Things aren't bad, and for accuracy, it's great. 12 kills already for him. He continues to fry. Yeah, pretty good. Dunks up. Snoopy in the corner. Well read. Dealt with was well by Linz. That was a bit of an awkward gunfight, and he manages to walk away with it. Priest are now fully aware the players in the top side of red. Nades, everything, you name it. Accuracy, pressure forward. Don't let them get through that mid-street. All of Boston there, shoulder to shoulder, the inside of the map. Beans 
looking to take care of actress you need to eliminate lamar from that spot otherwise you're open to the pinch snoopy trying to make his way forward as well they're committing so much to getting accuracy out of this position and trying to get towards the point look at that score line rocker have run it up Oh, and dude, it accuracy got the kills. That was the one guy where they knew exactly where he was. And, well, he picks the perfect time to come out of his hiding hole and still make an impact. And even for the final 10 seconds, there are two Boston players that were just looking for Standy. And by the time they find him, it is not for any bit of time. It is only going to be for the map control after the fact, which, well, as far as map control goes, Beans might have a power position, but accuracy has the time for the moment. Right now, Rocker, again, just on the objective front, even when the rotation has been bad, still having this big of a lead, I got to say for Minnesota, is a great sign. Oh, wonderful stuff. And they're still chewing up the time here. Beans chews up gunless in the first of what we many deads. It looked like a quite a quiet one there in the, in the player cam. Boston now with a point. In they go. It's three from Beans. But accuracy with the early cruise is going to be able to get them out at the time at the very least. Gets a kill as well. Two down for Boston. And that is what nerd spot in top red. Well, Snoopy making his impact from the nerd spot, but last man standing straight into the pre-aim of Linz, and that is the rookie dishing out two kills off the back of the cruise missile from the vet. And now on the rotation again, you've had Minnesota having to like fight tooth and nail for different sections of this game. This is about the most clearance that they are probably gonna have. There's no Boston setting up the brakes, getting the information early on. It is just gonna be a head smash through the front. So Rocker take two in holding P2. If they get broken as easily this time around. I doubt it. The crazier things have happened. Here comes the opening set of kills. Trades are nearly done. Priest tags out. Pentagram through the front. Here we go. Now you're knocking on the door of the diner. Breach and clear. There's the contest. Problems now. That's going to be a good nade out pentagram. Not going to necessarily take care of accuracy, but the pressure is there. Out we go. The trading of positions. A Snoopy through the back. Can he get two? No. Standy and Linz, they hold it together. This time, Rocker, stay alive. And they go. Well yeah, I was about to say, for the moment, they still get pushed out towards the back in Rocker. I mean, still, you will absolutely take that time. Still a strong P2. The only bit of bad news is you're still getting left side spawns. You're going to have to hike across the map. And right now, Pentagram doing a nice job of just slowing these, like, Rocker players down at the old time. But either way, eight-point game as we go towards new. Linz gets caught, which means Boston, they will have the full setup as this hill pops. Well, Boston with the full setup. We haven't seen Rocker get any too many great breaks. Let's go for a quick listen in and see how the approach sounds. Nice, nice, nice. Good kill. Alright, they're spawning huts. I'm hitting out. I'm hitting out. One is deep white. One is deep white. One is deep white. One is deep white. There's one huts. There's one huts. There's one on you, I think. I need deep white. I know. I see the guy. I see the guy huts. He's going to be on the dump. 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 He's going to be on the but Sunday did up the right now. Good job, three. Good job, three. Good job, one. One dip, one dip. Low bike, low bike, low bike. I'm right. I'm right. Third turret. 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 I'm ATM right now. I dead on hold. You're looking for one. Beans. If he's not TV, I have it. TV. I sun TV. Look for beans. I need TV. No, 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 you stun to the back, stun back side. Back side. I'm gonna help you, I'm gonna help you, Pierce. Then they attack. Come here, wait, come here. ATM, ATM, ATM. Nice, one day, ATM. Nice, one day, ATM. I spawned it. I spawned right. We have a streak. Nice, nice, nice. He's gonna be filled. I'm not filled. They're dead. Bummy on time, bummy on time. Go, go, go. He's mid map, he's mid map, he's mid map on me. I might be cut, you're good. He's mid map, he's mid map. Dark pillars, dark pillars. Top chip, top chip, Snoopy. Dark pillar beams. You good, you good, you good. Nice, you're right, you're right. One spawned out, one spawned out, guys. One spawned out. We should work front, we should work front. Yeah, one spawned out. That's one out, close front here. I'm going down new. I'm going down new. Top new and on new. I'm third. Stop rug. Go, go, go. I'm gonna go trips, I'm gonna go trips right now. Comes out of Rocker, very controlled. I felt like I knew where everyone was and what everyone was doing. 
no complaints at all and i would say some of the plays they were making pretty on point as well accuracy i think might be the standout player but now the situation you are trying to flood out through red this is the most difficult way to actually try to break this junk kill and well we'll see how the start goes two in the feed a lot of trades coming through who comes out on top in the end by the looks of it minnesota well, maybe doing some damage. This is just the difficulty, though, right? It's the funnel system. Now you get into this standoff situation, but Minnesota happy for it. Every kill they get goes so much further, and Gunless, oh. he's going to dish out dead. Gives you the big two, sets up his teammates for the next, and a break like that might be the moment the Rocker called game. They firmly have the advantage now. And now free reign across the map. Good work out, Snoopy. Cuts off Gunless, cuts the spree down. 20 points for the win, though. No more hard point time to be gained here. Good work again out of Snoopy. Takes care of those players just to buy his teammates a few more. Very valuable seconds here in this opening game of Karachi. New hard points up. The final hard point set here in the map. Boston are in it. Ah, but Linz cuts them down to ribbons. The last few remaining members here of Boston breach forward. Priest for the last man. Gone. Accuracy gets his. Linz right onto spawn. Into the kill feed again as Rocker looking to drive the dagger deeper. And here comes the twist. Well, yeah, here come the weird spawns, though, as well. A bunch of players spawning on the left side of the map. So Boston should be in a situation to get the break, or maybe Standy's just going to be aware. So reading the chaos and coming out on top. And in the meantime, accuracy, well, he went on another five while capping the objective. Minnesota Rocker out here calling game. That was an 0-10 start from Standy that quite literally did not make a single bit of difference. It was still a nearly tied up game when you weren't getting any production out of the new player. And then Sandy, it's not like he had a crazy heat up. He just started going even basically for the second half of the game. And Minnesota Rocker effectively dominant there on Karachi. And for the way that game started, I was surprised to see it, but that is a efficient gameplay coming out of Minnesota. And a lot of credit to accuracy play after play multiple sprees he was going on 28 kills as well with two minutes in the hill yeah you can't complain about that uh, whether it was the, the the stats department as well but just in the eye test we saw some disgust in fights i mean accuracy not known for his very you know dynamic gameplay let's say but he was hopping and popping every single time we jumped onto him there 250 to 178 boston left in the dirt and the dust of karachi after that quickly with the highlights a lot of love here for the rocker lineup uh, absolutely i mean another stat by the way you saw the objective kills for accuracy 10 of his 28 kills were either on the objective so either he's standing on it killing someone off of it or killing the guy on the other team that was collecting the time so constantly involved around the objective and again for that being effectively your main slayer not too shabby at all, but it really was just surprising, like especially for the street hill being the one where Rocker like sort of turned the game around in a sense because like they got bullied out on P2. They lost the rotation over towards P3 and to make the street hill the one where you have the most success is certainly not an easy thing to do, but Rocker pull it off and forcing the kills come. Not just accuracy, Linz also showed up with 28 kills himself, so Linz's job is quite literally for the team just to get kills and well, he certainly did his job that way. He really did. Nice looks here in the highlights. A couple of sweet little plays out of Snoopy, but not necessarily enough to make a dent into the Rocker's resolve there in Karachi. That first map, very much a thing of the past now. As you're seeing, the sort of teamwork element there. A lot more trades coming out of the Rocker boys. I mean, you heard the comms pretty solid as well. Very smooth, gunless. A sort of deeper dulcet tone in the background there. Absolutely laying down that UAV style of gameplay. Making sure you know where everyone is on the other team. Great work. And again, they managed to get a lot of time there on the uh, Hill Street or the Street Hill chance, which is, again, unheard of. It, you know, yeah, maybe not completely unheard of, but still like uh, an extra sort of benefit for the squad. But it's like the extra time they were getting there. That's a bit of a surprise. And also the amount of like sort of chip time they had in the sense that we saw a lot of kills, even the highlights of like Minnesota players just killing the guy off time on whatever hill. Gunless was doing it uh, on guys on P3 from the top third spot. Accuracy as well. We watched them fly down and kill beans off the time on P3. And there were just a lot of those little moments where Minnesota was actually finding those like small windows to get those key kills and i mean you strip away five six seconds here five six seconds there with gunfights like that it does make a difference long term and then you just get to play ahead of the game because minnesota quite literally as soon as they got the lead 
they never looked back. Yeah, game over. Good stuff there. Well, that's Karachi done. Invasion Search and Destroy. Now we are back to Karachi for control. And it's a couple of new maps to close out the series. If we have to go that far. At this point in time, I don't really know where we sit. I, I, you know, Hardpoint was definitely one of the worst modes statistically the Rocker had in the playbook. That looked fine. Boston not necessarily coming to play. We'll see if the search is going to be good enough for them. But, Johns, which way are we leaning, mate? How's this feeling for you? Which way are we tickled? Well, this is the thing, even for like the VOD for the teams, I don't know how much you can really like figure out and like decipher because it is brand new looks. Half of these squads got wiped and it's not like you can do a ton of VOD review for an invasion S and D for the new team. So there is going to be a lot to be discovered. Uh, I know specifically for the side of Boston Breach, guys like Beans, we've seen him be fantastic in Search and Destroy. I would say Pentagram, maybe more of an unknown quantity, but certainly looking for the bounce back from him after map two. But that doesn't mean I'm going to necessarily lean that way. It is just guesswork at this point, but I will say certainly for the calibration after map one, Rocker, the game planning, like the understanding of the key kills and whatnot, these guys seem to be on point. We'll see if they can continue that in map two, because if you talk about, you know, being setting records in S&D, Stanny, when he was in the league multiple years, was one of the better S&D players in the league. So a lot of potential on that front, but all right, you know what, Miles? I changed my yeah, mind. I'm yeah. leaning Minnesota. Yeah, yeah. I'm just I intuition. Yeah. Call it, call it a gut check. I yep, know gut, nothing yep. changed my mind. I just yep. I I see into the stars. Yep, absolutely. Chances crystal ball has spoken, folks. Boston 0 and six. Let's see if that can change right now. As they get the tentacles around this map, over towards the B side of the map, we go. Damage wow. there from Beans. Great work. Imagine a dodge the uh, the white van as well. So that could have caused some problems. He and his teammates now pushing forward. Pentagram just a little bit ahead of him. But Rocker with a 2 2 split. Two towards B, two towards A. I cannot believe Linz actually survived that. I mean, the nade was perfect. The shots also were able to get a couple on him. And I mean, Linz playing aggressive too. Like he was, had to have been one HP. Still ran straight in towards Broken and Snoopy. I was about to say that is 37 shoulders he just threw. But. If you know Linz is in broken, it doesn't look like they want to elect to deal with that for the moment. Leaning towards the A site, but Minnesota, they're just buying like that pressure right now. They have control of almost everything they want and they'd be happy for the retake on A. If Boston want to go for that or with 35 seconds left on the clock, they haven't made a decision. Yeah, we're struggling here. Almost got to get towards A. Pentagram's going to be a man to check it. A, nothing. Dive for it. Just make it happen. A Street, a little bit more dangerous now, but they know the plant's going to be on. So Rocker maneuvering in a position, and that's their back line now wide open. Accuracy takes the map into his own hands. Can't get the second. Snoopy there with a rival nine. Linz will be there to pick up the next. That's a nice bit of teamwork. That's a spicy meter ball. And this could be it. Smoke play from Gunless. Oh, he's thread the needle. Right in between two more players. Linz, though, now in a 1v1 against Pentagram. The map on its head. Linz gets it. 20 seconds on the defuse. That's the first round. Oh, my word. I mean, he was down at 15 HP. I think Penna had the, uh, the Renetti in hand in that moment. So that was nearly a pistol diff moment, but Linz makes the read, wins the gunfight. But I got to say for Boston, as far as that goes, they didn't give themselves a lot of time to work with. They didn't get the first blood, but they still, or still nearly turned that into success, if not out of the play from Linz. So hell of a round from both of these teams. And I mean, that's just efficient work or teamwork rather uh, from both sides of the metaphorical stage. It's a nice way to set the tone. That is some good S&D. Boston, a little late to the play, but once they got things going, it was a trade on trade on trade. Shout out to Accuracy once again, being the man to find that first. Oh, what do you know? It's a bag of beans. Well, 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 well. There are bloody beans everywhere. And there's another beans on your screens right now, boys and girls. Oh my nice God. Nice walk out of Linz. Just runs out and puts Snoopy out back and shoots him. Wow, good stuff. Hey, Rocker haven't left their spawn except for Linz. He's literally on an island. I mean, he's getting comms from accuracy. Don't get me wrong, but you have Rocker right now. They are heavy playing for the flanks to roll through. In Boston, while they do have a, a bit of presence on the map, no one's over committing just yet. Panet dishing out some damage. But clearly, this play is going over towards the B site. And Pentagram not watching Dark. And well, eventually, does get over aggressive and does get caught. Game plan from Rocker paying off. Yeah, so far, super good. Three to though. Nice two. 
Looking for the third. Not enough time. Stanley there fast on the hit towards A. And it's another 1v1 situation. This time Beans has to recover the bomb. Looking for the plant. Oh, sorry. Rocker. Recovering the bomb. Stanley's already on it. Beans got no idea. Will Stanley peek his way through dark? There's 15 seconds on this clock and Beans is gambling big on B. That's actually crazy. Stanley was playing for the timing too, expecting Beans to rotate from the B site and work over. So Stanley making the heads up play call, but yeah, Beans <laughs> on the 50-50 effectively just guesses wrong. And now this is a tough spot for Beans to be in. He has no information. And Stanley almost missed out on that bomb plant by a fraction of a second, so kudos to him as well. Roundabout journey. Beans is making a lot of noise. And he now should have it dead to rights. Another 1v1 goes the way of Rocker. And that's, I, I gotta say, I really like the play from Beans. I just didn't like the timing of like when he actually moves to go and check the site. I'm thinking when there's just, you know, maybe nine seconds left on the game clock, you know he's not gonna go playing out towards B. So make a move and try to get the coverage, but he does wait a little bit too long and. Obviously, Standy, who's able to get the plant and get away without being spotted and trying to retake a site by yourself with absolutely no information, not an easy thing to do. And Standy, again, very strong search and destroy player, ends up making a better play. That's a three spree as well, so good stuff. On halfway towards that cruise. Boston once again, slow on the approach. Having to comb the corners here of invasion and Linz is not going to give up this angle. I think he might have seen a, a red diamond there, Snoopy making his way across. It is possible, but we'll never know. Same setup for Boston, though. I mean, like, they were happy just to let Pentagram with a, a very small amount of help go for this bomb plant. And Boston on offense, spreading the map once again. But clearly, the commitment's going to be out towards A. They're doing this with a little bit more time on the clock, but smoke's out. Pentagram. Just making the call. He's cleared out all the space, has the trophy down, and for Minnesota, seemingly going to let this happen. They're going to try to catch someone after it gets planted. Pentagram goes the wrong way for it. Linz. Oh, my God. Nearly punishes him. Surely somebody moves into it. Beans. Oh, my good God. Nearly got fried. Stanley now pressing the advantage. Checking his corners. Snoopy's the top. Blue. Gunless somehow snipes, snipes Priester out of the equation. Linz now flying into the fight. Lovely patience. Good work to stay alive as well. Gunless on the site, and that should be it. Snoopy, the wrong part of town. Can he get here in time? I don't think so. Gunless has left the bomb. Back on it. Snoopy's got a chance. Snoopy's got it. Big win, but still two seconds to spare. Linz plays it close, and Rocker find their third in a row. And oh my god, Gunless is playing him with my heart. I don't. Did he actually hop off that? That had to have been an accident or a calm or something, but... While the chaos was happening, as soon as they got the two versus one, Linz was running in a cafe, and it was Snoopy that was shooting him from back DVD. So Gunless does make the perfect call. He reads the situation perfectly. Plays with the timing just a little bit, but either way, credit to Linz is at least standing near his teammate to make sure you get the trade, and Rocker retook that fast enough that they had the extra time on the game clock anyway. So efficient retake, everybody nearby, and... Boston don't pull off that sort of late success, but that does seem to be the call there from Breach. I mean, they'll take their time, go for the bomb plan, just play for the 4v4. So no absurd first bloods rolling through just yet, but either way, Rocker up 3-0, and maybe here's your first absurd first blood, Linz. Getting active once again. His teammates are nowhere near him right now for trades. He is on a solo mission, and he's gonna oh get it. God. Another first blood for the Rook. I mean, not even sure. It's like you're saying that the strat here for Boston seems to be, yeah, we're going to play for that 4v4, you know, real... I don't think they could get a first blood. They're really trying. But they have been denied in every round so far. Fourth round, no good either. Can they take a man advantage now? 3v3. Accuracy? Oh, oh my God. God. Nearly gets Snoopy as well. An advantage for a brief moment. Standy. Ian Gunner's trying to pin down... He's in a bit of trouble now as well. Wow, Stanley just cuts him down and it's another for the third round in a row. A 1v1. Hey, this is just, I mean, this is abnormal. You're not going to read this. This is a very difficult situation right now to be in. Stanley has at least made it back towards the bomb. And is this just going to be another 
where Snoop just stares and hangs out over towards B. Stanley's going to plant in the exact same spot. We're doing it again. First try, he was Beans. Now it's Snoopy's turn. And they need this round, too. They're down 3-0. But yeah. again, Snoopy has to approach this with zero information. Bro, this is technically the fourth round in a row. We've gone down to a 1v1. In theory. Bam! Oh! Snoopy just says, what? And he says, let's f***ing go, baby. Quick rehydrate. That was a nice win. Oh, the MCW, perfect weapon for the situation he was in. The old left, right, left, right. Good night, Standy. Another 1v1. Yeah, no, Snoopy and I are different players for sure. I would not be challenged out with Rival 9. <laughs> maybe he's thinking Standy's an SMG, so maybe it'll be a rival chow, and he trusts his gun skill in that moment. But uh, Standy did kill uh, a few of your AR teammates, so able to pick that up off the ground and... I mean, just has the better gun for the job. So that is two different 1v1s against Standy where they play for no information uh, and just hand away rounds. So yeah, 4-0 lead from Rocker. Things are uh, looking pretty good. They has been great, man. A couple of big 1v1 wins. Linz is 6-2 and two as well. He's really been the Reaper here on Invasion. You should absolutely fear the Reaper. Don't know that wonderful song by the Lawyers to Cult for you. Check the, it. The Oyster Cult, they need more cowbell. I need more strats from Boston. It's the exact same thing. And they're 0 for 2 on this play. This is not going to work out. Pentagram is about to get gunned. Oh, there you go. Two. Standy. First blood. Standy. Looking for his next. Linz is there for it. Oh my god. It is falling to pieces. A shambolic approach now from Boston Breach. Last two players. Priest has already checked himself into the showers. Linz catches Snoopy. Is it going to be a perfect round five? Or Rocker, no. Priester goes out swinging, but that's it. Oh, God, it's looking like a clean 6-0 chance. Yeah, I mean, like, you know, it, this is like a definition of insanity, sort of uh, SD, it seems like. If, hey, guys, you know that strat that didn't work for us two times now? Let's run it a third time. Surely it goes better this time. No, it doesn't. Minnesota, very easy reads. Linz plays the exact same spot. I thought, like, behind the tank or someone filled it in. Another player just behind the door. Pentagram has just been pushing out on site completely by himself to try to get the bomb down. And, uh, yeah, pretty easy to pick him off. So, Minnesota Rocker not exactly being uh, tested in this game. Maybe Stanley for his 1v1s he's been given a test, but uh, he's on a four spring 7-2, and two, so he's passing with flying colors. Very fun. Matt Point for Rocker now. It's been a delight. Having a really good time here on Invasion. Slower rounds. And this one, again, deep mid-map presence there from Boston Breach. It's Penta and Snoopy, the players you can see through the walls directly in front of you. And Beans has taken a f way too many shots. He's out of the fight for a few moments. Not enough to make Linz push up towards that B-bomb site, though. Yeah, Rocker, though, they are waiting heavy for a flank to roll through. Standing was very patient in showers. Meanwhile, well, there's the charge. Oh. Stack towards the middle tank. And gunless for two. I was going to say final round for Boston, but the odds have been even. 2v2. And the Boston players for the moment are going to be split as gunless. Going to be able to get this bomb down. Oh, he's going to get it down. Ouch. Eats a nade. The big P's made of tough stuff. Here comes Priester. Both of them coming through mid-map now. Standy might get caught out here. Oh no, Gunless might be going with him. So looking to isolate the 1v1s, not going to happen. Towards the alley we go. Perfect timing from Standy. The shot's also pretty good. Gunless there with a pickup on the beans. Now p -Dog! it's over. Throw in the towel, they're dead. Boston Breach, diabolical on invasion. And Miles, I just saw it in the stars, you know? Something was just telling me that intuition that maybe this isn't the map for Boston. If you have one of the best S&D players of all time on your team and you're 0-6 on the map, yeah, I don't think it's going to get better. Hot 6-0, one single strat on offensive rounds there for Boston and punishing for that lack of efficiency in mixing things up. Rocker able to get it done. Even in the few rounds where Boston had opportunities to win, I mean, technically they were in a 4v2 in that moment. He had Gunless just slamming it shut. Standy, again, very strong SD player, wins both of his uh, 1v1s he had against two different players on Boston. Uh, they didn't want to get any information on him. They're playing hardcore for the 50 50, does not pay off. Channel across the map with Rival 9 against the MCW. Yesterday, I think, is uh, wearing off on the matches today. Oh, yeah. A tough one for Beans there at the 1-6. A lot of damage dealt, though, again, with the 
MCW up at nine and a half minutes nearly for the 6-0 there from Rocker. Incredibly confident. Never did it really feel too wild and crazy even in those 1v1s. Actually, the standy versus Snoopy, that was about as tight as it got. Karachi control coming up in a moment. That's going to be map number three. We'll see if Boston can get it done. They've got to get themselves back onto this because we want to see a little bit of this. They see a little bit of six star. That'd be ideal, folks. But right now, Boston Breach on life support here in the series as Rocker are certainly having their way with them. We're going to go to a quick commercial break, folks, on the other end of this one. We'll find out if Boston have got anything left in the tank whatsoever. Or will Rocker spell doom for the green squad? We'll find out after this break. your game with the scuff the official controller of the call of duty league the call of duty league is brought to you by monster energy the official energy drink of the cdl boys and girls map number three shenanigans behind the scenes here in the call of duty league but also big time shenanigans taking place in our matchup rocker are absolutely pulverizing boston breach so far if you're a fan of boston breach just forget that last one happened we're going to karachi for a game of control and for boston right now it is quick recover mode dive back into the fray get ready to rock and roll last chance in this series to stay alive otherwise another 3-0 on the day 
Yeah, also, if you're a Boston fan, forget about map one as well, because Stanley started 0-10, and by the time he got his first kill, it was basically a tied game. So goldfish memory is what we're talking about going into the Karachi control, where the stats, at least on the defensive end, fairly comparable records, not too shabby, but obviously offensive defensive stats can look different the more you play invasion. So a lot more potential on the attacking rounds here on Karachi and Priest of the Guy. Maybe with the uh, the veteran presence to step up for the team and try to, I don't know, orchestrate the chaos that might commence on this map. Uh, not often played by Boston over the course of the year, but maybe with the new sort of firepower they have on their team, they're looking to bring those extra kills to full effect. Beans and Pentagram looking for them to uh, set things up just a tiny bit here on map three. Yeah, slow in the search for the pair of them, but hey, a very, very different map, different game. Here we go into it. Breach. A bad start. A great one for accuracy, though. On to Linz. As he and Stanley working their way towards the A side of the map. Gunner's there with the kills as well. It's nice coverage. Although the boys might have all looked away at the wrong time. Stanley soon to be fending for himself in the A side of the map. I gotta say, this is sort of like the, the dream here for Rocker, right? Everybody, let's coordinate our nades. Okay, we got that kill. Next place we look mid-alley. All right, cool. Pentagram runs out. That's death. And... Now that things are getting a little bit mixy, it's still just every, your easy coverage, excuse me, for accuracy. I mean, a 3-0 and start, hasn't had to break a sweat just yet, just letting the kills fall into his lap. And you see Beans pushing out for junk control. Sandy gonna be heads up about that one, but Priest is gonna be nearby. So a lot of pressure on the sort of top right side of the minimap there for Boston. That's what you wanna do, force out these deep spawns, but two minutes and 12 seconds to work with. And by the looks of it for Rocker, they're just gonna go around. Absolutely. A nice bit of teamwork there. Stanley backs on up. Gunless is the guy to say, hey, man, I've got my MCW at the ready. You make a run for it. I'll cover you. He loses the fight, but you're right, allowing a bit more movement across the map now. He's trying to shuffle up the lineup that Boston have got on this defensive hold. And so far, it's big kills. Linz, eyes on the final player in this side of the map, and he might be able to make his way over towards the B zone. Snoopy staying alive, coming in off spawn. Penta and Beans now shuffling to get back into the fight. And it's a slow approach chance, but it's not impossible. Linz is in. And he'll be stopping the clock. Unfortunately, Stanley loses the gunfight up top. And now Linz has no help. He is quite literally trapped behind the front line of four different Boston players. He gives it a nice attempt, but nothing cooking there. Solid hold so far for Boston. And I mean, things are looking good. They don't have the junk spawns blocked just yet, but still plenty of pressure. But Rocker trying to go around, doesn't work. Now they're just going straight through the front. Yeah, see if this plays off. Oh my gear. Gunless is there to pick up the kill that Linz started, and Linz soaring. Unfortunate timing, but not unfortunate teamwork. My goodness, it's all looking up for Rocker right now. Pentagram looking the wrong way. Linz flying forward. As the kills keep going, they're not onto the point yet, but they're finding kills all over the place. Four beans drops a couple of bangers, and that should be it. Oh, nice work out of Snoopy as well as Boston hold. Just under a minute to go. Yeah, those are huge wins from Beans, and well, that kill front is going to continue. Wins the next one, has the intel on Stanny. Let's Pentagram go and clean up that kill. And I mean, Pentagram able to get his first kill on board, but frankly, might not have needed to. Very strong stuff here on defense right now for Boston. And Minnesota, again, no flanks going through. They're going to try to bully away through the front again. Maybe wait for accuracy to work his way through mid, but a slow approach in a moment like this with this amount of game time means this is going to be their final try. Yeah. Linz, good work. Accuracy there. Red has been cleaned up. Beans is gone. Priester can find a few here. Oh no, Stanley, you managed to get the damage in. Clock still ticking. Pentagram down. Oh, this is huge. Can Snoopy find his kill? Yes, this should be a safe hold. And Boston, despite the late heroics from Rocker, that should be the round. They will take the first. Oof. Oh, I dig it a little bit spicy. Yeah, accuracy picked up two towards the end. A player just a few feet away, maybe from stopping the clock. But no, indeed, Boston, strong stuff on defense. Maybe the spiciest moment they had. Uh, I know Linz was able to get behind enemy lines a few times, but there was one break where Rocker almost could have been free and clear to run towards the zone. But Beans picked up two huge kills on the cross and stops that push in its track. So Boston didn't have to work on it, but considering how their opening break went, I think they're going to be very happy for that defensive round. Strong stuff to sort of get the momentum back in your favor. And to the attack they go. It's going to look like an A hit. No reason for any funny business. Get your SMG players out towards P1. And why not give it the old double stack? Yeah, tried and true. We're going to see nearly every team attempt something relatively similar. I don't think there's a whole lot of coverage oh. from 
Boston here. Isani could dive into this point and, and take care of business, but we're waiting for more fellows to show up in the meantime. What's going on here, mate? Two segments of A are gone. The capture's nearly complete, boys. Yeah, that's such a confusing setup. Uh, they gave up top third for free, and I was going to say, yeah, having two players in Coop seemed a little bit insane. I think Rocker might have been a bit confused by the scenario, but while A has to be captured, Beans is going to be putting pressure over towards this B zone, but that just means, Rocker, how much of an investment do you want to go for this retake? Or do they just want to play for the spawners? Right now, nobody from Rocker is budging. So, Beans, it takes 45 seconds to solo capture this. 15 have gone by, so there's one ticking. Two players now from Rocker are finally retreating to take him down, but Standy doesn't even get a bullet off. And, oh. well, now Boston's got the help. So, Beans has just been here for free, solo capping this himself, and you just took so long that Boston, the pressure's now on. They're capping both points at the same time. Nades and help out on Standy, pushing forward. Beans evacuates the point for a mo. Hit fire, not going to be there. And that is finally the B zone safe. Priester now keeping the pressure up. Priester finally stopped. Pentagram on there for the trades. Gets himself to accuracy back at it. And oh, for a minute there, mate, I was like, are we really going to see both points get captured like this? What kind of madness is this? It's 421. It's a day later. We got to relax and focus up. This is, I mean, for both teams, that seemed like such a, a strange start. But I mean, either way for Boston, happy to take advantage of it. One tick away. And I mean, they'll be up 2-0 in this series. You still are back sort of more or less towards square one. You're not really getting the, the close junkyard spawns. You see number four is going to spawn out, but Brisa, a lot of pressure on the flank. Unfortunately for Priesta, his team, well, not able to pierce through red just yet. So Brisa is going to have to pump the brakes, take a little bit slow and wait to make a little bit of noise with his teammates. But Rocker also turtling up. So a delicate moment as Gunless gives you two. Yeah, Big P, he's good for the two. Lin's going to try to get himself into a sweet position to cut these reinforcements off. Eyes for now. I'm not going to take the fight with the Rival 9 at that range. Meanwhile, Standy. Uh-oh. 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 Snoopy finds two. The Rival 9 players have been absolutely eviscerated now. As this might be the wind in Boston sails that they so sorely need. Through the back, Snoopy finds another. Pumps the brakes. Here comes Standy. Lin's again. Doesn't get it this time, but they do kill each other. Oh, my good giddy on Boston are in. Priest defies the kill. Is there over the wall? Beans out of it, straight into the feed. Big tags as Beans is cooking. You've got to get back onto the point though. Boston find the kills, but not the time. Well, there you go. At least Ben is able to stop the clock. It took a long time for that to happen, but they've been flooding through the dumpster. They've been getting across, just getting picked apart along the way. And accuracy gonna fall as well. And finally, the round collapses. Felt like Boston just wanted to get some extra kills before they actually win the round and maybe go for the devastation factor, but they were effectively just bullies there on Karachi. And again from Rocker, like Beans got a kill like in the sort of vending alley, so they knew where he was on the minimap, and then he just goes and stands on B uncontested for like 25 seconds before anybody wraps back and I mean, then quite literally, Beans wins a single gunfight and the round just gets blown wide open. So Minnesota maybe trying to think a little bit too much there in that round and getting caught because of it down 2-0 and maybe a lifeline for Boston in the series. Snoopy looking solid at 13 and 9. The top side of the player stats is incorrect currently. So look towards the player cams. That's for an updated and accurate oh, yeah, the score down. line. Oh, big workout pentagram straight into it. Pentagram is technically 9 and 14 right now, not in, a, not in 14, so it's not too far off, but good work. 10 and 14. Can't get any more out of that life. Pressure there. Massive work. As Rocker now struggling to get out of spawn, they've got a bit of space to work with now, but Snoopy's going to try and foil that. Big stuns once again. Everyone from Rocker coming through the south side of the map. And I mean, hey, accuracy able to pick up Snoopy, but right now, less than 50 seconds on the game clock, and you were just feeling a ton of pressure. Linz, dead to the nade, not the trophy player, so you're just right now desperate to stop the clock at all. Sandy also on the point, not a trophy player, so Pentagram going to hunt him down, successful at that, and you've just been getting spawn trapped this entire time. Rocker, don't even know how or when they found the time to get a cruise missile, but you're using it in a desperation moment to get out of your spawn. This is worse than ideal. Yeah, this is a bizarre turn of events. Still on A, still capturing the zone. Just one man on it, Standy. 
from spawn directly back to the OBJ. Halfway through it now. Thomas has got some side of the map covered. No top third presence. And that might be a problem because Pentagram has managed to slip through. He will be the man to dive into the point. Sandy going to win this fight. Yes, it. Teamwork's there. Three down. And on the B we go. Okie dokie rocker. Looking to capture both points simultaneously. Uh, you go from getting spawn trapped for the first minute of the round, and now you're capturing both points simultaneously. And Boston, the routes there, taking off spawn. They're going to be funneling themselves through the alley. Easy kill there from accuracy. That is his 20th of the game. Sandy getting cuts on the cross, and not a trade for Boston to be found. Snoopy's at least made it past the dumpster. So a small bit of good news, but two ticks have already gone through. Yeah, here we go. Accuracy up close. Big wins. Snoopy just turns from it. Another one. Lamar can't get any more. Priest is in. Lin, send it. Try to bang a door. Look for these players. It's lovely coverage now from Rocker. They're keeping the capture going. Lin's cutting out the reinforcements. Beans and Pentagram through the front. Standing through the windows. Has to get in the time. Stop this one. This could be the capture. Priest is able to get at least one kill and fight forward. Massive work from a world champion. Linz, you've got time. Wait for the squad as Boston reinforce. Oh, man, this is this is a uh, spectacle of Call of Duty right now that we are watching. Two juggernaut teams going at it. And accuracy again, just trying to get information. Those are players in bus. Two around the back point. Linz gets the first blood on the engagement, and that is the floodgates open. Rocker, go button being hit. You're looking for the trades around the zone. Two in the mid alley. Stanley trying to hop in the wall. Boston just have everything, though. A disconnected push. And Rocker cannot find success. The kills are good, but the ejected play... Well, got a couple ways to go. We're in. Find them, Linz. You found them. They got you good. Beans still alive. 18 and 16 now as he's fighting. Boston are fighting. This could be it. There's two lives there for Rocker. And this has been one hell of a Karachi. Gunless. Down and out. And that is the map. Woo! Boston are alive and kicking, shots. Uh, yeah, no, for sure. That's a 3-0. I think just like the scoreboard, that game was ugly. Yeah, that was... There's a lot of mixiness. Let me tell you, your situational Call of Duty understanding was being tested in that game because that was chaos in a few different moments. Almost nothing makes sense. You go from getting spawn trapped for the first, like, minute and 15 seconds of that round to all of a sudden Minnesota Rocker are capping both points at the same time. They get two ticks of progression, get all of the kills in the world, and in a situation where Boston are having to, like, flood over the dumpster, they're still able to make it work, and I don't even know if I can trust the scoreboard anymore. I feel like seeing Snoopy yes. with the least amount of damage is incorrect, but you never know. No, this is this accurate. This scoreboard is accurate. The one on the top side of the game gets bugged occasionally in this current patch, but that is the real deal, brother. Wow, okie dokie. What a what a map. Boston did he take three straight? I mean, the the attacking round was a big surprise, and that last one there from Rocker, they didn't necessarily have the wherewithal or the. I mean, I, I'm not even sure what to call it. They just could not get in there, and if they did. It was a couple of inopportune moments where you're sending it outside of the zone and you're losing these big fights, but highlights there from across the board. A lot of Boston, a lot of Rocker, a lot of just everything in that map. This was, I mean, round one was pretty good. Uh, you know, Boston actually fought tooth and nail, like on defense, pulling clutches off, big kills, beans, uh, putting into work as well. That was a look, I think, at one of his two kills. He was catching players on the cross to make sure no funny business happened. But then rounds two and three, it was just nothing but funny business. Again, beans uncontested on B for 25 seconds and gets just enough time for his teammates to help him out. And really sort of open the round up so i don't know chaos has just ensued there was some like sort of strange call of duty being played yesterday and whatever bug has bit the players in this league it continued at least in that map and i'm sort of surprised as well because rocker has been playing incredibly well on maps one and number two but uh, they just couldn't get anything going just about in this one but so many opportunities being created. I think this was the moment where they get like a three down and one player was able to sort of slide into the point, but maybe just a, a lot of clutch moment and clutch plays for the players on Boston there. Everybody just taking turns, flooding into the mix on the zone. And again, I don't know. That's probably what my uh, my <laughs> mini maps look like in ranked play, but it is just absolute chaos at every given moment. But hey, Boston Breach gonna thrive in it get that sort of lifeline and now we go to a vista where if your guns can stay hot this is another map where you can fry the other team and 
really push pace. I was going to say, I mean, if you enjoyed that crazy Karachi, Vista might be just what the doctor ordered for Boston Breach. They haven't been looking themselves for well, quite some time here in MW3. This might be a very, very happy turnaround point from Chance. Are we thinking good things about our green team? Uh, well, yes, I would say for like the, the flip side for Rocker, this is not a map where Sandy can afford to start 0 and 10. If you don't have like SMG presence, especially so towards the middle of the map, you will get punished on this map on like four of the five hills that we have, if not all of them. So that would be the opportunity for Boston because on the gunny front, I think the only slow start we've had is Pentagram maybe started 0 and 6 in the control, but he started 0 and 6 in a situation where they were still on point on defense anyway. So uh, never a moment where they're really being costed in the slang department so i would say a pretty strong opportunity here for boston uh, especially so on a map that not a lot of intel between these two teams uh, i've seen minimal looks uh, across the league so still a lot to be learned and i would certainly imagine if a team like you know miami heretics have been electric at the p3 and p4 breaks uh, maybe that could be sort of the boston special as well where playing like some wild men difficult to contain and so many of these moments where, I mean, just Snoopy's point of view, again, time and time again, he just wins gunfights that do not seem possible. I understand why he squares up across the map with the rival nine. <laughs> yeah, he's obviously having a great time. Well, both teams have have uh, they've had one crack at it and they've not been fantastic on Vista so far. The rotational percentage though, pretty solid there from Rocker, but not able to turn it into a win. Both teams not ideal at the breaks or the holds. So this is going to be an absolute slobber knocker boys and girls here we go word to jim ross nades are up it's priest with a first yeah that's a good opening break off the nades extra kills coming your way and you take advantage of getting these spawns boston hey deliver out now you set up the crossfire but at least you draw out the fire nice little slide there in that moment to open things up from rocker and just like that they strike back I mean, middle of the map, Priest has had this on lock, but just blowing your way through the steps. And as far as the opening break goes, Rocker happy to make the best of that situation. And now it is all about the trade fest towards the middle. And it looks like Boston, nothing to trade. Priest just doing it with the pistol. Can't win the gunfight. Trades right now flowing easily for Minnesota. He knows at that moment as well, he's alone. He's got to find something. Snoopy now from the outside. One, the second, my, my word, he's doing it. Rotation's already on its way, and Rocker are there first towards the bottom side of the courtyard. Priest are looking for the high ground. It will lead the angle towards the back here. Beans through mid. Bangs that one out. Trophies are in. Gunless is gone. Boston have started shooting. Yeah, and Beans is showing off the power of the middle of that position. A couple players get caught, and even though Rocker won the initial gunfights, you control the wrong sections of the map, and you are going to have a bad time. Beans hitting a little two pump before the gunfight. And I tell you, one of the best headies oh. in the game. So difficult to take someone off. Gunless might be able to rip them, but for the moment, Boston still holding on to the time. Priest, though, pinched in between two different players. Great damage, though, being done, and I mean, he's able to survive. What a 1v1 gunfight on the time, and Boston going to come out big. Unfortunately, the mix fest continues. Just head bashing your way to try to collect this time. Oh yeah, this is two serious head bashes. <laughs> like we are banging non-stop here on the point. Accuracy outpaced somewhat there by the entirety of the Boston Breach rosters. This is non-stop action here. Over to the Barbie now, go to try to cool ourselves off. Lens is in. Lens on the cleanups. Nice work with the stun. Managed to catch a player in the middle as well, but it's not going to be enough for Boston to get in there. Rocker still holding. They've got the time for a good 10. I'm kind of surprised to keep seeing teams leave like the SMG player in that back building because that time Stanny just gets overwhelmed. We saw a similar thing from Thieves the other day. So not an easy spot to get these back spawns. So Boston able to bully their way through and not just collect the back spawns, but collect the time. And this was the hill I was talking about. Miami are fantastic at breaking it. They just run at it and fly. Boston do the exact same thing and overwhelming pressure right now on Vista. Now it's a situation for Beans where these are easy kills for them. And I see it in the player cam. Those comms are roaring. Yeah, we saw that dead. We saw that one. Eight points down climbing for Boston. Breach. Damn, so they are looking all right. This is definitely the map that they wanted to be on. And they've continued the hot streak they had in the Karachi control from 3-0 to this so far. Can they keep the pace going? Beans on a five. Looking for number six. Ah, standing there with a rival nine. Looking for a few more submachine guns, it feels like, for Rocker. I mean, surely Gunless is pulling out one as well, but there's so many times we've seen accuracy like, uh oh, he's taking the stair out. He's running an MCW. This just feels like a tough, tough spot to be in. And that's what Rocker's game has looked like so far. Difficult spot to be in again as Beans keeps killing you boys. 
Yeah, and I just like the pressure and presence that Boston are having to watch the flanks again. Getting the backside spawns is incredibly difficult, but Boston for P3, they walk through it like it's cake, and now just to hold on to it, they're making it look easy. A lot of pressure on Priest towards the hill. He only has support on the cross, and the support is going to pan off, and that is the presence of those backside spawns. Unfortunate for Priest, he doesn't get the cruise, but you still effectively get this full 60 on the time. Rocker, though, don't want to give these final 20 seconds away. They're taking a route just to take them down, but that's going to be just for the final 12. You're going to be down by about, what, maybe 60 seconds oh going into man. this new time, or Gunless is there first. That's the good news. Boston, though, they have a lot of presence in every gunfight right now on this rotation. Standy, well, he's the last man living up to his name. Trying to find the play or just trying to find the timing. In for the kill? And maybe forcing the trade so the patience is going to pay off trades for a few of his teammates and rocker found a nice little play to try to collect some time so the folks at home wondering no the scoreboard is not bugged this time round. boss and breach are all positive slaying their way out it's going to change in a moment potentially as minnesota rocker have been reborn here under the bridge trolls to begin with and now they are running things 25 to go on this hard point they're looking to get the rest of it boston though still one more hit at it because they want to get p1 that's that tiny little room just above them hard points on this map they're a lot of fun not a lot of fun when you're getting absolutely hammered, but Stanley, good work. The two done as Beans is back at it. Yeah, Stanley had a, a really great moment on that hill. Again, slowing the pace down when all of his teammates fall and make sure he continues to keep that play alive and really does set his team up for success on that hill. The best hill rocker have had since P1, but now that we return to maybe sort of the Minnesota special, you get a look at how difficult that bridge gunfight is. I mean, if they keep flooding into accuracy, I was going to say that's going to be a bad time. So I'm watching the Boston routes right now all spawn. Maybe the root accuracy out, but they're going through mid and they're going around. But so difficult to kill. And this is just impossible. Just accuracy is like life setting up the rest of his teammates. Minnesota Rocker. I mean, they're making this P1 Hill look easy right now to hold. It's been a near perfect 30 seconds so far. Another 30 to go. I mean, the only consolation the Boston have got out of this is like, oh, your damage stats is way up, boys, but you have not been able to get a kill or break in at this point for some time. And Mini, oh my lordy, they are still going. Beans finally breaks the white streak there we saw in the Rocker kill feed. A little bit back and forth now, but that is a lead change. Minnesota Rocker alive and kicking. Yeah, and we just watched the hill where accuracy got made one shot like four different times from four <laughs> different angles, but they just could not kill him. And while they're trying to shoot the main AR, they're just getting traded by someone else. And now on this rotation, Lynn's opportunity. This is where you want your Slayer to shine. Extra gunfight up top, Burger, but it does get traded out. Weird spawns on the back left, though, coming through. So easy kills from Gunless. Damn, Gives you an God. extra kill as well. Minnesota Rocker. Yeah, the switch has absolutely been flipped. You've been flipping that switch. You've been stomping on that switch. If it was a pedal, it's been beating into the ground right now. Linz on a bit of a flow. Boston breached. You have lost your momentum. Can they steal it back? Let's find out how they sound with a quick listen in. Two of them I saw behind us. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Maybe, maybe, maybe. Go on, go on, P1 Cross, 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 I'm on your push. 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 I'm on your push.
I'm not going to get that. 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 I'm not going to Beans did the thing, Chance. He said dead. Uh, yo, he earned the dead calls too. The back-to-back -back hills, the two most important hills on the map, and he goes on six sprees on both of them. That's still just a setup to get the lead. You do have a cruise missile as well to break this down. Beans, though, maybe he's the score streak himself right now, killing everything with the MCW. It's only his teammates that can take him down. Oh my god, we go to a game five. Oh my god, busted. You have sprung the lights, boys. What a map so far. Pentagram on a three, lining up for a few more plays from Rocky, who is setting it from down low. It's P Dog on a four. The boys are racing to a cruise missile. Priester takes the lead with five. It's still Pentagram on the back now, looking to get his fifth in a row. Can he get it as well? Well, Linz is going to be there. Snoopy now steals it. Snoopy on a two. Priest on a five. Pentagram on a four. Beans gives him one. And only an auctioneer could really uh, sort of make amends for the chaos that this hill has been. You've had a rocker just being in the blender, coming off a of spawn and throwing bodies towards the time. But it is desperation. Need to find these kills and they're going to catch it. Pena wants to run it directly to them. So right now, rocker still alive, going back to a P1 where, funnily enough, this is where Minnesota have had the most success. Boston, no. All you have to do in this moment, play for kills. This should be their wheelhouse. Great news, though. Your boy's got streaks and beans. No dead. He dead. Priester, not dead. Still alive for a mo. Big one wow. from Stanley. What a two. This is not over yet, folks. Rocker are in. Here comes one of the many streaks that Boston Breach has managed to accrue as Vista is about to take a big hit. And that is an open roof. How many can you find? At least accuracy is going to fall. And now for the moment, 3v4 around the site for the kills to come through. Boston picking up two, Snoopy. Easy flank. There's the wipe. The break is in off the cruise. Game. And this might just be the game. Game. Beans helping out. Stun. Push him back. Game five. Here we go. Quick contest. Not enough. Oh, 249. We might just see another. Yeah, P2, though, it is a wide open hill, and obviously Minnesota can have the flood or fight for the old time. Penn is out here making plays. Put the pressure on P1, and look who's standing at noon. Right now, it's Beans just gets to hold him off. He's able to pick up two kills, playing his life, and Beans might just give you all four. Beans, in the meantime, literally gets the squad wipe and wins you the game. Oh, my God, the contest. Right? Stay alive, Gunless. Hold it down. Rocker, they've got no more lives on the point. Accuracy cut down. Pentagram gets it, my God. It's a Mac 5. What a banger. Snoopy had a little heart attack. Bro, what the hell? We literally just got like a free cam version of Beans literally wiping the entire team one by one. And it still took an extra 10 seconds to win the game. Dude, the past two days have been chaos. Nothing makes sense, but for Beans, that map does. I lost track. I don't know if he broke the kill record or not, but he quite literally, for like the final three or four hills, did straight up throw a Vista masterclass performance into the mix. We're talking about the most important hills and the most important times, and he is literally spinning 180s, collecting these kills. I mean, shout out to Beans for that one. He earned the comms. No records broken, only 37 kills, but that damage output, that was an insane performance. All he broke was the back of Rocker. Wow, what a brilliant, brilliant map. I don't believe it. <laughs> I want to know what happens on the mini map that you and Beans killed the entire team one by one and his team was still late to rotation. It was still like a big square up. Like he just got in the corner and he he picked up a rival nine, I think, and just started shredding. But 20 point differential there. Look at the comeback Rocker made though. That P1 to P2 was so good. It was so solid. Oh no, sorry. I take that back. It was a solid comeback regardless. So the 198 to the 230, that was when they so, so sorely needed it. But man, what a ridiculous series this has been. I chalked this one halfway through the first round of control. And how wrong was I? Six star S&D is on its way. Can Boston Breach complete the comeback? I'd be amazed. I'd be genuinely amazed, Chance, especially after the 6-0 invasion S&D. But six star 
is its own beast. We're going to go to a break, folks. Prepare yourselves. We're not going to do any more listenings, but you know Beans is absolutely popping after that when you heard the deads. And right now, we're all alive and fighting. It's going to be a fantastic series ahead of us. We've got ourselves one final map in it before we get to go to Toronto taking on Atlanta. Game five, Rocker and Boston. We'll be right back. Upgrade your game with the SCUF, the official controller of the Call of Duty League. Slice up your competition with the Executive Chef Operator, now available in-game in the Call of Duty store. It's time for a game five. If you told me that we were going to be going to a game five after the first two maps in the series, I would have told you to go and flashbang yourself because this has been one hell of a turnaround. And I must admit, Chance, Beans and the boys of Boston are absolutely banging their way through this one. We have one more search and destroy in the series. It's going to be a six star. And this is the way the last one looked. It was hideous. Yeah, and that is uh, what two diffuses there for Minnesota Rocker. That's how they were clutching up some of their defensive rounds the rest of the time, just getting it done in the slang category. But I know for Boston, it wasn't just the fact that they got 6-0. It was also no like finesse in any of their strats. It was the exact same everything every single time. And like, if it ain't broke, don't fix it. But if it is broken, do fix it. Do something different. So uh, hopefully for these guys, a very different look on six star. I got to yeah. say, though, beans might have like top five play of the year right there like maybe in the conversation i like whatever he did was absurd literally squad wide yeah. minnesota rocker in like a five second span basically yeah. stood still while doing it so beans is out here just you know doing insane things i was gonna say something a little bit more vulgar i contain myself so that means boston certainly they have some momentum going into map five they just need to win a round 
I mean, well, here's how the map fives have gone in the season so far. And again, Boston Bridge, statistically uh, abysmal, I think is the best way to put it right now. Not good. Bottom of the league, not good. So we're looking at these stats, only paint a more dire picture. But what hits the canvas is an entirely different thing. This Boston Bridge certainly here full of beans. And right now, he's the guy getting it done. That's what the B stands for. In the Boston yes. Breach logo chance, it actually just stands for beans. It means beans. It's nothing to do with the two other bees in their name. Always has been. Now, yeah. uh, this is, by the way, uh, jokes aside, like a very interesting moment for both of these teams because they neither one have a win in the major three qualifying split. Granted, Boston has only played one whole series, so like it's super early on, but it is sort of justification. You want the vibes to be flowing quickly when you have a new roster like in the mix because there is not time to waste when it comes to the CDL points. And I know for like Boston, again, one in six record or one in five, whatever it was for the game fives, you need that to turn around right here, right now. And of course for Minnesota, like their stage three started out the exact same way that their stage two did in the sense that like they're going toe to toe against the top teams. They actually look pretty good, but you need the better output because previously they were collapsing in the game fives. And well, now for Minnesota, they might be collapsing once again, staring down the fierce faces these Boston Breach players. And man, this could be one of those turning points in their entire season. You look back and go, man, remember that series against Rocker? We hit that reverse sweep. It was so good. You just find the confidence. You just get in the groove. You start to believe. Here we go, Boston. Beans, beans. The musical fruit. The more he shouts, the better he shoots. We're almost ready to get into this one. I feel the same way. I feel the same way as accuracy does. I'm sort of like, really? Did it really happen? Like, it was going so well. Everything was going so good. And it was just that f***ing beans guy, man. Absolutely ripped us a new one on Vista. It, I mean, look, we might have accuracy on the player cams right now, but I think Gunless will be legitimately heated if he falls to Beans, because obviously uh, those dead call outs were roaring. That was the point of contention, but Beans has been earning those left and right. So certainly a tale of two different faces. Accuracy, though, I mean, not a player that is going to get checked out. He, I mean, I, not that this is even really possible to get stats on. I don't know if Turtle's been going crazy in the background, but accuracy has to be one of the players with the most game vibes ever seen in professional Call of Duty. Longtime veteran, certainly high up on that list. But again, it's not just the CDL points. It's not just like the top eight margin standing. It's not just winner's bracket. Like all of these things incredibly important, but especially so because it's a brand new roster. Like it's the type of thing where it can just collapse your team if you fall this early on. And frankly, at this point, maybe even more so for Minnesota, just for the fact that they would fall to 0-3 in a reverse sweep is just, like, that's just devastating. And looking at them again in the standings here in Major 3, Rocker down 0-2. 0-3 would be tough. They'd be tied. The Gorillas there. And again, points. As far as the points go, you're sorely looking for the points. The overall season standings. Again, another big question we have as we roll deeper and deeper into the season. We do reach a point of no return. As you can see, standing lens has been a slight controller issue there for the Rocket Boys. The technical timeout has been called, so they'll be able to get that fixed, get that back up and running. They'll shoot a bottle to make sure that things are tipped top. But right now, accuracy, possibly talking to Gunners. I don't think Gunners is in the same facility as the Rocket players are, possibly playing from home. But right now, the whole point is just regain. Just remember the plan. Six star. You may not have that many reps on it, but put together what you've got. We're rolling the dice in a big way for both of these teams here in Boston Breach. I think they're certainly feeling that their odds are a little better after the last two maps, Chance. I mean, that's why it's especially interesting because like, you know, on the side of Boston, not exactly creative with their invasion strats, but I mean, you could run maybe the same play call on six star. And if you just have more experience with it, you're going to have uh, more of a nuanced understanding of how the rounds are going to develop and the situations you might find yourself in. So this is a map that just very interesting between both of these teams, how well prepared they're going to be, what bomb sites you favor, because from what we've seen so far in the CDL, different teams quite literally do just favor very different things things both sites can be utilized uh, i mean plenty of opportunities we had miami heretics where we're watching on defense where they just invest half of their tax and nades on one site if they hit nothing instantaneously wrapping across the map and still beating the other team to either site so uh, there's been efficient looks and a lot to be learned still on this map we'll see if one of these two teams will continue to be a teacher or i mean if they'll just be good students around the league and uh, learn from some of the successes we've seen from other squads. We're almost ready to go, folks. Just 
rolling my clock back to the first S and D. Really tough there from Invasion for Breach. Oh no, Snoopy's leaving now as well. What's going on? Ah, uh, he's got to find Standy. <laughs> We're going to take a look at the last time these two teams matched up now. Very different rosters, everything a little different. This is back in Major 2. And look at that, a Rio search and destroy. Back when Rio was a little more fresh in the league. But Breach looking a lot more decisive in the hard points. Sub base and invasion, the big wins there. Control, not the case. And the invasion SD. So once again, Rocco just seemed to have a better grasp on that one chance. But the Rio was a 6 3. So if anything's changed, hopefully for Boston. It's S and D, but in this point, I just feel like they've taken a step back. Uh, well, possibly. Again, that could just be a uh, specific one map thing where a few players are a couple on invasion, but the new guys on the squad, not so much. I mean, maybe the biggest difference we see is like the Karachi control being banned by Boston, but this series, they get the 3-0 the victory. So maybe a potentially expanded control point, but on the overall front, it is Boston dead last in 12th and a long way to go. And keep in mind, teams that are sort of like on the bubble, like Carolina Ravens, just having that like extra five points from their placement at the major. They've sort of been like the gatekeeper. But now they're winning series online, let alone on land. So if the teams on the bubble start catching the hot hand, that could be problematic. I mean, Carolina has Rocker firmly in their sights in Boston again, just desperate to make it competitive. They need to get that ball rolling because, I mean, you just think about this like, from like Priest's point of view, from winning champs potentially to not qualifying for the next year. I mean, that would be absurd because he is a diamond player. He's not a rock. <laughs> a diamond level? What are you talking about? Oh, no, no, okay, no, a oh, diamond no. of a, a person, but a, I mean, I, where, I, top I know, 20 I know, in the world, I, top 30? I, 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 I know what you were talking about. I was trying to get a little bit more out of you, but that's all right. You know what's going on. If you're reading the competitive Reddit right now, or if you have been near X.com in the last week, Standy's back, ready to go. This is our series, how it's gone so far. Back to the Invasion S&D we saw, though, again, very strong. Looks at a rocker. Individual performances, though, Chance, when it came to nearly everyone on Breach were tough. Beans was a one and six. I think the same for Pentagram, possibly two and six. But for six star search and destroy, a very, very different map. No one near as big as Invasion. And we are going to see a lot more of those close engagements. That A bomb site with a big statue, that's going to be an absolute blowout. B bomb site over by the pool side as well. I'm expecting to see the submachine guns of both teams absolutely ripping. It is going to come down to who can win the big trade fights and who can make those unreadable flank plays. Plenty of them here on six star. This is gonna be a very, very interesting matchup for our game five. We're now finally ready to get into it. And here we go. What a hump series this has been. Boston Breach looking to complete the reverse sweep, sweep and Rocker looking to keep the egg off their faces. Winning team gets to hang out at that six star resort bar. Losing team, gotta swim with the fishes. They're not the pool, though. I don't know where they are on the map. This, like, hotel has an aquarium, too. That is actually... That's too much. It's a nice hotel. Here we go. Towards the B site. Breach shoulder to shoulder on the approach. Guns up at the ready. It's going to be Lin, Standy, and Accuracy. Whoever hits that inside ring is going to run into Bean. Snoopy, lifeguard over by the pool. And this is... If Sandy wins this first gunfight, he could get three. If he loses it, that might just be the round. That is bombed down in Snoopy's face. It's a bomb down in the pool as well, so a difficult recovery position. Beans gets in. Second kill out, though. Linz with a trade. Gun also on the other side of the map. Might have to get over towards the boys. He possibly will get spotted on the approach. This pentagram, he's just making sure no one crosses through that middle side. They've got a lot of information. I don't think they saw that the bomb went down there. So Rocker with an opportunity to possibly sneak through. No, Gun, there's nothing sneaky about it. He's been eviscerated. Linz, one and done. It's now a 1v2. Yeah, it gets the kill and wraps back. You see the plan from Boston. They've just been grouped together with a three, but not quite quick enough for the trades. But Snoopy and Priesta still grouped up together and taking a swim. Oh, Linz is not going to check that, but I think the fellas... Oh, that's disgusting. They're going to stay on the inside of the bar. This is a perfect position to be in. Oh, they've heard him. They've seen him. And they could have done far worse than just shoot him in the back. Great work from Boston to start to finish in that round. And I don't know if that's an on-the-fly call or if that was talked about beforehand, but the double setup in bar. A lot of things would have to go wrong for that setup to get broken down. And just even the way that round started, Sandy just full sends with the bomb outer pool. They don't have any intel on any of the players on Boston. So 
maybe a poor utilization of the tax and nades not getting the information but to start a round like that very difficult to clutch up after the fact and i know beans really puts a stamp on it with the second kill he collects as well just forcing a couple trades to come through so nice start for boston they just needed one get that ball rolling in search Rocco, not necessarily rolling like a square in that one. Mid-map presence certainly felt by them over by the pool side. That's going to be accuracy. No one really hitting anything just yet from Boston. They're waiting for mistakes to be made. Who's going to show their hand first? That gunfight. Wow, Linz. He heard his teammates shooting outside and he thought he'd get involved ASAP. He did just that. And that's the bomb down for Breach as well. Yeah, Pentagram fell asleep at the wheel. He was throwing 37 shoulders, watching that exact same thing L triggered, and I guess just gave it up at the worst possible moment. So Spidey senses now give the Rocker a man advantage, and Standy, also unfortunate timing, at least should have seen a second player on the cross, so now you know the bomb's dead. Nice work out, Linz. Threads the needle once again, his second on the round. Gunless from behind, makes it three, all down to Beans in the 1v4. Top security, abandons ship, sends it forward. He's not got time, and now he's got nothing. Rocker, an immaculate bounce back, one to one. Yeah, and Devil's in the details too, because, I mean, in theory, that was a perfect strat call from Boston. Wait for someone to flank, be a little bit over aggressive. You saw they had every single angle covered, but... When we saw a pentagram, literally L trigger, exactly where Linz was going to appear on his screen. Didn't even get a bullet off Linz. Too quick with it. Found the absolute perfect timing. Rocker now have another round. But either way, talk about the unique looks we've seen from different teams on this map. I think that's a, another one of sort of the stagnant setup there from Boston that it's just difficult for these teams to go in with limited intel and limited feel on how the map is going to play. Rocker, though, Sticking with the B site. A little bit more cautious maybe on the approach this time. Smoking off mid. Got the trophy down. Planting the bomb as well. Who dares wins. Quick plant. Standy. Forced to play now. Rocker through the top. Through, oh, sorry. Boston through the top bars. Rocker got eyes on. Linz. His position might get spotted out. As Boston. Peek forward. Find your intel. And get ready to send it. Linz has crept forward as well. And there is an air of anticipation now. Rocker. Forward you go. Guns up, 30 seconds. Great. Priester, damage. Lot of damage. Takes over the bomb site. His teammates now beams pushing forward. Pentagram should be able to finish up, but it's Gunless with a two piece. Now Gunless in the 1v1. Against Pentagram. Bill, he just skewered him alive. Does he have the time? Just half a second to spare. Pentagram and Boston Breach Ooh. with the retake. That is unreal. I mean, that timing was insane. Penna goes for like the double kill cam juke just about, but shreds gunless inside of the water. Could not deliver with the big play. And that's a big moment for Boston too, because that was a four stack. And it's really just about those sort of entry kills, setting yourself up for trades, because gunless nearly made the hero play with the nade kill, but times it perfectly. And I, I still don't get, I can never see people when they're in the water. Pentagram though, eyes on. I need to figure out what glasses he has. They're definitely not as far to use as player cam is. Sun checks over towards the A side of the map. Give up the play. Boston Breach, you have been found. You are not totally surrounded, though. Priest is watching the deepest of flanks, so send in Pentagram to find the kills alongside Snoopy. It's two on the round for Snoopy. He's barking. Accuracy bounces back as Rocker still fighting to retain some form of control here, but it's not going to stop the bomb getting planted. Yeah, and accuracy working the flank. Problem is to watch the flank. Well, easy to watch from a few different angles. Accuracy, well, able to gun pretty still, but his teammate falls in the meantime. So bomb down, have to flood into absurdly difficult gunfights. And Beans, he's going to be able to look at this bomb through a crack down low. We're just on the outer lane. They're kind of handing this away. Accuracy, the Iceman, time to shine. Iceman melted as Pentagram. Not even necessarily too much of a ridiculous position to be in, but he just runs straight up back towards that bomb site, looks for it, and catches out accuracy. I said the accuracy was a little tagged as well. It was only two bullets to take care of him. So pentagram, heads up plate, numbers for breach. But that's two in a row. Yeah, and that's just a really good call to be aggressive on that trade. I think a lot of players might sit inside of you, spot out the cross, like try to play off the time, but pentagram saw the advantage in the round and took it. Also notice that he has uh, pentagrams on his, his headset as well. So That's crazy. On brand, baby. Yeah. 
three for pentagram back over towards the a side of the map we go this time though not as many boston players with the eyes on here chance you should be able to get across priest is going to be the man down deep at the end of the sort of elbow there he will be able to see the players getting the bomb plant but the tactical retreat oh my god we're in that's the plan and that's a big first blood that's it. Wow, dude. They, I mean, six star might be the map of players just running past each other. That's the second or third time we've seen a moment like that. <laughs> but either way, Boston, we've seen it before grouping up together. They're going to be playing for the trades and they're going to be hitting through the flank. Gunless, the player to be watching this from Minnesota. They've checked everything, though. Good work, Boston. You don't have a lot of time, but they're doing this very quickly. Not as careless. Gunless spots him out. Plenty of damage. Gets away with his life as well. Oh, he walks. Wow. Kill. Big P brought down. 2v2 and 15 seconds to get it going. Priester breaks the glass. It's a juke. Doesn't fall standing though. Trades, Linz wins. Nice job, Rocker. Every trick in the book was thrown instantly at Minnesota there. And they held their nerve. Yeah, and that is a... I mean, there's a few different things that happened in that round. One, Boston just super unlucky. They did not see accuracy. Penna just giving away the first blood for free. And then Boston spent maybe the next 15 seconds deciding what they want to do. And you waste too much time. And obviously, you don't have enough to work with towards the end. But even then on the timing front, if Gunless doesn't get that kill, they still might be able to run it down and get that defuse in time. So... I know Gunless has had a, a few decent moments so far in this series. Add another one to the pile and maybe making up for the 1v1 he had against Pentagram because Pentagram has been making some plays as well. But Boston slowing things down. Different angle decided there for Penta and information. Rocker running it down. Oh yeah, that's a, ooh, a nice two. Gunless. Might add another to it. Priest are now in the 1v3. That's a technical 1v4, but it's not going to amount to too much. But P-Dog is actually moving quite well across the map here. He's cut his way through mid. He's run a small circle around Rocker. He might be able to catch at least one more player here. Oh, my goodness. Accuracy, do you check this? Oh, my goodness. The bomb site's been vacated. The Priester has the bomb in his hand. This is interesting. Wins it. And he's gone. Oh, that's a that's a tough angle to cross from. Well, Lin's actually going to go for the child. Well, number one. Didn't heal up in time by the looks of it. And Rocker going to shut that down. Priesta nearly made the play. I mean, the read was right. Everything did perfect. Trigger discipline on point. But Sandy just gives him the hands. And I mean, that's what, what a three bullet kill. So, I mean, the headshot multiplier coming to effect. But I don't think Priesta quite had enough time to fully heal. Either way, for Minnesota, Boston, that is the same sort of stagnant setup they had on the offensive round. But this time, Rocker, again, just fly at them and break it down. Overwhelming pressure and presence there on defense. But now from Rocker, back on the attack. And they have been sticking with this B site, at least at the start of these rounds. Straight to B. A few members of Breach will be here to contest this in a moment. And they're not going to see wide anything open, go wide down. Open. Wide open. Well, accuracy might be in for a bit of trouble. The first blood from Sandy helps, but here we go. Oh, the timing. Now nah, it doesn't look at it. That's going to be a costly engagement. The flank wide open. Boston breach right through it. Well, flanks on flanks, though, because Sandy's now going to be behind these guys. So right now, this is the time for Sandy to get active. Bomb down. Couple trades coming through. But Sandy, the last man to the engagement. And now you just get to pick corners. There's kill number one. But... Now he's going to have to finesse, try to find some way to take these next two players down. He's also got to not let them defuse. They could be on it right now. Standy, oh my word. Are we going to dive into the pool? Pentagram, you got 15 seconds to make a decision. Here comes the pistols. No, Standy, get your firearm out, son. Oh my God, what are we watching? Pentagram wins it. Not this time though, mate. He won't be able to get to the bomb. The Standy draws him into deep waters and he wades out into a round loss and Rocker take the lead. Okay. I mean, hey, a 1v3 is a fantastic thing. I, I would be hard-pressed to say that's a top-five play, but as far as the map goes, Standy does play that absolutely perfectly. I want him to flank a little bit quicker, but just getting into the water turns out to be a great decision because, I mean, I guess you're just wearing too much gear. It takes a little bit too long to swim, and he buys him enough time. That's okay. That's the type of play, by the way, that if I was Boston, I would never let the bomb get planted on B again because I just don't want to deal with that. I don't want to deal with it. 
Or you have to save a nade to take care of the player behind that sort of, you know, centerpiece in the pool. So difficult. Also, what a pain in the ass to water that thing as well. The poor groundskeepers of this hotel. Well, problems for another day. Snoopy and Co. Might be able to cause some damage here. The rocket players above them, they've taken control of the bomb site, but no one's going to be able to get into the bomb site without a pound of flesh. Less than a minute to play. And a patient Snoopy is a dangerous one. Here comes accuracy. Playing for the guarantee, and he got it. That's a hell of a first blood, and that means that you just can't take this route. Oh. And yeah, another AR player just getting that close range battle against Snoopy. Hand delivering oh, you no. this round. Easy to watch the flanks now. Lens for the 1v4. Oh, no. Does not last. Boston breach. That was a perfectly played offensive round. They don't go for the stagnant plays. They don't play for picks. They get progress on the map, and then they set up for the kills. Snoopy doing one hell of a job. Picks up three in that round. Yeah, that, that was a very powerful three. The first one was good enough. The second, great. Producer Beans as well pushing those players out by lounge. Perfect awareness from Boston there on that attack. They didn't necessarily have to plant the bomb. They just knew where everyone from Rocker was coming from. Good coverage and a good heads up bit of work early on here on Six Star. Four to four. Snoopy's still on that three spree. Linz. I like it. Breaks the glass. Pentagram. Absolutely no hope in that fight. Yeah, no, I mean, he's just straight up dove into death. I mean, that, that's an option for sure. First blood from Rocker, and you have accuracy that just cleared out everything on this map. You know all these players are in mid. Yeah, they're in that little tunnel. Quick plant. Coverage there from the back. It's going to be accuracy holding these players at bay. Priest is going to be able to try to punch a hole. He might just shoot past. Yeah, he's going to be able to get into this bombsite fight much quicker. Standy with a jump check at the most incredibly well-timed. 30 seconds. Rocker, they've got the numbers. The Breach are closing in on the site. Only one angle of attack now to worry about. Priest to cut down. Stanley was in a sweet corner and Beans fried. Done. Rocker. Match point. Yeah, and accuracy ends up making the perfect play on the flank as well. Doesn't get the kill on Priest initially, but he just basically buys his team an extra maybe 10 or 15 seconds of being comfortable to worry about everything else on the map. And... His teammates just win the gunfights, even if they hadn't. Accuracy did time out the flank pretty perfectly to chase the two players on Boston. So certainly a mistake-free round there for Minnesota. Taking advantage of the situation. Now Boston again. They've had a, a bit of success on the offensive rounds. Mix things up just a little bit. Need a deep cut here and straight towards this A site they go. Gunless has the help from the middle of the map, but Boston right now, they are swarming around this A site, but being patient, maybe waiting for the kills on the flank as Priesta, he's playing the absolute depths of this map. He might get spotted out. Stanley, you're in trouble. Here come the bees. They're swarming. Oh no, Pentagram and Priesta. The beekeepers have been stung and now they are out and about and loose, able to go wherever they want. They're back over towards A with a quick plant. Gunless has got a tremendous ah, bad timing on Snoopy. Accuracy, 1v4. Do not let the round 11 happen. And that is that. Breach. The final chance in this series as we go to a last ditch attempt. Complete the reverse sweep. As Rocker are in dire straits. All right, Miles, pressure's on. Round 11, who you got? Who you I picking? Know. I don't know. Well, who gets atta who's attacking? It just depends on who's that attacking. Actually, that is a good question. That's all Boston, I by the way, great play call in that round. Just to do something together, bang out through you, try to find that extra kill. And I mean, Boston, anytime they're grouped together, things have been going a little bit better for the squad. Rocker on the attack. Oh, they may have been blessed. Blessed be the kills they've picked up. Rocker, as forward you go. You've got trophies to work with as well. Here comes your Snoopy. The middle map full of Boston players. What an aid from Stanley. Connects. It's going to slow them down. Is it going to force anyone to move? Well, right now, Rocker, it's the same thing. I think they might be waiting for accuracy to try to clear out some information. Oh, question. oh well, there goes the smoke. It bounced off of his teammates. Oh, that's so the trouble. Linz, though, outside of the smoke plate. Massive damage, not enough for the kills. Stanley has got to get in there right now and pick up at least one or two, and he might be able to do it. There's the first, the second. Stanley! Can he get another? Beans on the approach. Lovely tags. It was a two pump. It's still good. Priest now. Last man up. 1v2. He's still alive. 
sends it. Damage. Wrong place. Wrong time. Rocker. By the skin of their teeth, survive the round 11. <laughs> <laughs> oh. oh, man. Another purple villain. Referenced there by accuracy. It was a snap, but pff, what a series that was. A yeah, little bit of shade thrown there at the end. Unfortunate that Gunless doesn't have the player cam turned on because I could only imagine, but that was... I mean, perhaps one of the craziest series we've had this entire year, like certainly in terms of like unpredictability, Rocker just looked like twice the team that Boston was on the first two maps. And then Boston just simply found their form on Karachi again, previously banned map in the control, but this time they get the 3-0 with the new squad. Things looking good. They were slamming on Vista. I mean, Beans quite literally with one of the better individual performances we have had this year all just the setup for a round 11 in the search and destroy where like i mean just like thanos everything was balanced the first bloods balanced between the two squads the clutch factor was there from either team so a lot of plays being made a very mixy match indeed but maybe some of the uh similar issues that the boston team was having those map vibes specifically